Alright, what's up YouTube? 702 guy here. So basically what I'm doing, I've been getting some requests um, for basics tutorials on like the basics of FL Studio so people can learn how to use the program better. People have messaged me like, oh, well, that you have great tutorials and all, but I don't know how to set up my songs or I don't know how to use the program very well. Can you make a tutorial on that? So what I'm doing is I'm making my tutorials in different parts. So I'm going to go over over each individual tool in different videos so it doesn't so I don't make the videos too long. So what this video is about is this video is about your step sequencer which is this thing right here. Okay, I'm going to go over all the basics in the, in the step sequencer and then um, I'm going to have other videos out like I'm going to have one on the playlist, one on this whole top bar here um, and stuff like that. So I'm going to be making a new set of tutorials on how to use FL Studio. So basically like I said this one's about the step sequencer so we're gonna go ahead and get started so basically your step sequencer is where your song comes together okay you put the song together and you play this but this is where you make the song so what your step sequencer is 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 it's just a group of notes okay so like right here I have a kick a clap and a snare so I'm gonna go off this based off a of dubstep music because that's the kind of make so like if you want to make a beat each lit up one means that there's going to be a kick or there for this one or is there's going to be a sound coming out of that one so like I have it lit up like this so there's going to be a kick, a kick, a snare, a kick okay that's what it's going to be now so it's going to sound like this okay so that, that's how that works so each light represents something different so um oops I don't know why I deleted that so you got your beat here okay so this this is where this like I said this is where your song comes together. So you can put different beats here like like that. So now you got songs like this. Okay, and then you can also make different patterns. So what you're gonna need to do to make a good song is you're gonna need to make different patterns because you can't just make your whole song on one here. Because if you want to build up like for example dubstep music, if you want to start with like a simple beat like this, something like this. Okay. You don't want you don't want to go like that through the whole song, but if you click this plus button here, you can make a new pattern. You can rename it and everything. So like beat number beat two. Okay, so now I can build this up a little bit. I'm gonna go more into organizing the song in the playlist next. I'm not gonna be able to show you now, but for example, like one. This is my pattern number one. Okay, pattern number two right here. Okay, so that's what that is. That's how you make different patterns. Different, um, your patterns are are important in the song. So another thing I'm gonna go over is um, the piano roll. Actually, I'm gonna go over each knob in here. Then I'm gonna go over the piano roll. So what the first, what this knob does right here is this knob turns up the volume. Is the, is the volume knob? So down all the way, no volume. Down up or down all the way up or up all the way is full volume. So um, so I, for example, full volume, no volume full volume, no volume, alright? If you want to reset your knob to its original position, just click right click and then hit reset, and it'll automatically reset the knob. Okay, so this knob is your pan knob, okay, but if you don't know what the panning is, is panning is from your left ear and your right ear switching up the sound, so if you turn it all the way to the left, it comes out of your left ear, all the way to the right, your right ear. You might only be able to hear this if you have headphones, or you might only be able to hear this if you have headphones, okay? Like I said, I click to reset it. Okay, um, this little green light is your solo button. Okay, so if the green light's on, it means that current track is playing. So like I have the kicks playing now, but if I turn it off, only the snare will play. Okay, turn it back on. Only turn off the snare will just be the kicks. Okay, so that's what that is. Okay, so this is your looping button. I'm gonna go over that once we get to piano roll. Okay, this button or this knob right here is is basically to create more, more things. So like, this is a four, this is a a four bar beat. Okay, so what what how you know the bars is basically it goes gray, then red, then gray, then red, and each one represents a bar. So this means four bars. If you go to default, it's not making four bars, but I can make it one bar. So it's just one, two bars, for example. But I think the max it goes up to it, it says it goes up to sixty four but in reality it only goes up to 24 so 
that's that's how you create different things. It's a lot more complicated to use this way. I think I think it's better just to make different patterns. But that there's there's some people who like to use it like that. Okay. Um. So this knot right here is gonna go more more into the sounds. So actually, I'll go over that when I do piano roll as well. Um. So what I'm gonna do right now is a piano roll. So as as you could probably figure, you can't just make a song out of beats out of out of beat sounds. So like this. This one would make a very good song. Someone would get really bored after a while. So you're probably wondering how would I add different sounds in there. What you can do is basically your browser right here has all your sounds in it. I'm not going to go over every sound because it's going to take a while. But it has all your sounds. So like say for example you want to add a guitar sound. So you find a guitar sound like an electric guitar. And you can throw it in there. Just drag and drop. It's that simple. Okay. Some come up with these things. Okay. Don't worry about that. I'm going to go over that in another tutorial. Um, but... That's the basically the, and what all you really need to know is that about the is that you drag and drop in you can make different things so like this okay so um, what I'm gonna go over now is the piano roll so what a piano roll is is you right click and you and you do the, hit the piano roll button and it shows up a, it shows a piano basically just like in the name so. When you when you do the pad you, the piano the lower pitch, you can go lower pitch and then higher pitches, okay. Um, and you can put in different note sequences just by just by uh, left clicking, okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna go over all these tools in my playlist tutorial because they go really well with the playlist. But um, this is this is this the, we're only using the pencil tool for today. But you just left click. And you can add different notes in there, and then you can also drag a note, okay, to make it longer. Um, and then you can also, if you click on the note, basically the arrow like this means it's going to go longer. The arrow with all four ways means you can move it this way, down, up, whatever you want to do, okay. So this is what it sounds like when you press play. Okay. Now, what you now, if you want to highlight the whole thing, there's two ways you can do it. One, you can use this tool, but this takes a lot longer. Okay, because you have to click your pencil button again. But if you're just um, using your pencil button, you hold Control down and do it. It'll automatically pop up with the tool, and then it'll switch back to your pencil right away. Okay. So that's it. If you want to copy paste, same thing as your normal controls on your computer. Control V. I mean Control C and then Control V. And then what you can do is not going to show up right away. I copied and pasted it, but it's not going to show up right away. But it shows up right next to the note, so you can just drag it out here like this, and it'll stay highlighted. Okay. So now, now I've got a two-bar loop. Basically, what I mean by two-bar loop is one bar is from each number, so number one to number two, that's one bar. Number two to number three, that's my second bar. The thing loops on on your farthest bar. So, like, say if I get rid of this this whole thing right here, it's only going to loop on one bar. Okay, now if I control C, control copy paste, move this up here like this. Now it's gonna loop on two bars. Okay, so now I've got it looped on two bars. But as you heard, my beat stop, which I'm going into next. Um, so basically, that's what I mean by two bar loop. That's the piano roll. That's the basics of of it. Okay, now what you want to do with this playlist? By the way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go more in, in depth on, on piano roll when I do the playlist one but the piano roll is a really useful tool so what another what another knob on here is this orange button called the loop knob so as you can hear when you listen to it it does the first one and it plays the beat but then on the second bar it does no beat so like this okay now what you do if you press this orange loop button here it'll automatically loop the beat over and over again with each bar because you see this beat right now is only going with one bar so it's only going to play the first bar, but if I loop it, then it'll keep looping around like this. Okay, so that's that's what it is. That's the playlist right now. That's so I'll basically what I'm going to do in my next tutorial. I mean, that's the step signature. So what I'm going to do in my next tutorial is I'm going to go over the playlist. So go ahead. So uh, go ahead. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Hope this helps you guys. If this doesn't help. Then, and you want me to go more in detail, just send me a message. So, thanks for watching.